for me i absolutely love when you get reminders that hey you are right and something that i know that i'm right about is that the nfl is the best sport ever nothing else even comes close well ncaa football i mean you can make an argument for that but besides that nothing else comes close not nba not mlb not any whatever mma whatever letters you want to use to describe whatever sport you're talking about nothing comes close to the nfl today i started watching dolphins and browns started watching it the browns they went down the field uh got a touchdown then the dolphins they get the ball they went down the field and got a touchdown i'm like oh man it's a pretty good game it was like a little back and forth and whatnot i turn it off because i had to do something come back couple hours later the game was over i'm like oh let me see what that score was 39 17 the dolphins blew them out like that I said whoa but then that obviously wasn't even the game of the day then of course like a couple minutes ago it just became official official jeff saturday he got his first win as the head coach for the colts we'll see what happens with that because that has been a whole little mess in itself but anyway um the bills and vikings my goodness my goodness, can, can, can we start respecting the Vikings, please? Can I, can I hear about more about these Vikings in the media, please? Since they beat the, the, the new version of the Patriots, because you saw them calls, you saw the way them calls was going for the Bills, man. Boy, like, like hey, I, I, I like what the Bills got going on. I like what they be doing, but I, I just, I hate when the refs, they, they stick their nasty little fingers and they get involved in stuff, and it's like, come on now, move, like, let these players play, man. And if you're going to call it one way, call it the other way too. But, I mean, you know how it goes. But anyway, um, the Baltimore Ravens, even though that, even though they don't play, you know they, they stay in the news and whatnot. And J.K. Dobbins, man, he had been the subject of a lot of conversation uh, when it was said that he was going to have surgery. Um, there were a lot of people saying the Ravens, they, they were doing malpractice with J.K. Dobbins. He shouldn't have been out there. Uh, there were some people saying, hey, J.K. Dobbins, he, he rushed himself back. He wasn't fully ready yet. Um, and with that, I never really had any problems with the way that the Ravens handled it because they uh, they they didn't seem like they rushed J.K. Dobbins at all, man, to me. Uh, because, again, he was never put on IR. He wasn't put on the pup list, but he was so he was on the roster. He was practicing a little bit and whatnot, but they were just like, nope, you're not playing yet. Nope. And then uh, it was another week went by and they said, nope, you're not playing. Yet. Then another week went by. They said, nope, you're not playing. yet. Then they finally let him play. But they let him play sparingly. They were like, ah, you could play, but you ain't going to be playing that much. So then the injury came out. And then it was like, oh, J.K. Dobbins is going to have a surgery. And it made a lot of people, like, turn their heads up in a weird way. Like, man, what, what was what's that about? What did the Ravens do? Um, but J.K. Dobbins, he cleared it up. Today, because uh, Mike Giardi, or maybe it's Giardi. My apology if I said your name the wrong way. My apologies. I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, but I'm going to call him Mike G. Mike G, just to keep it safe. Uh, he tweeted this out today because uh, he said that J.K. Dobbins, uh, he was talking to WJZ in Baltimore um, about the surgery, his injury and whatnot. And he said J.K. Dobbins said this. And I had to check, make sure Mike G was official because, you know, with, with Twitter blue, with all these these verified checks floating around, you got to double check, man. You really got to double check. Um, so e even my own check that I got, <laughs> I paid my $8 for it. And I ain't ashamed of it either. I paid my $8. But anyway. Uh, Mike G said, J.K. Dobbins set the record straight on his in-season surgery. I didn't get re-injured. I didn't hurt myself for anything. I just didn't feel like myself. There was some stuff in my knee that was making me not feel like myself. It wasn't bad. I could have still played, but I'd rather be 100% going into the playoffs toward the end of the year so I could really do what I really need to do to help the team win. You got to respect it. Got to respect it. Um, so J.K. Dobbins, he going to be out for a little while, um, but Ravens should get him back toward the end of the season. And, hey, that's obviously a huge part of Baltimore Ravens' game is, is the run game. And the more high-quality backs you can have, the better. Like, who, who knew Drake was going to go off like that like he did last week? Um, and, and that his signing has just been... It's been working out more and more as the season has continued. I remember initially with that signing, y'all know me. I was like, oh, okay, they signing Drake. All right, cool. And I was like, all right, cool. I ain't really thinking that much of it. Um, but it, it it just showed that they wanted to stay ready so they didn't have to get ready when it came to J.K. Dobbins. And it was the same, it was the same thing with Gus Edwards when they signed Mike Davis. That was another indication like, oh, Gus Edwards, he ain't going to be ready either. But Gus Edwards came back. Ooh. 
Woo! And he should be back for this Panthers game too. Um, but so yeah, Raven, Ravens need him. They they need these boys in the long haul. Um, and this is exactly what this is, though. This is J.K. Dobbins thinking about the long game, thinking about the long haul, because football season, even though compared to all those other sports that football season is greater than, um, compared to all those other sports and leagues and whatnot, football season is very short. It's, it's extremely short. It is 17 regular season games, uh, and, and that's, that's a, a longer football season. Because before it used to be 16, before that it used to be like 13 or 12 or something like that. Um, but anyway, it's a 17-game regular season schedule. Then you got like, what, four, you got a four or five-week schedule for the playoffs. You got the Super Bowl, boom. That's it. It's done. Football season is what, like six months? And that's it. Um, and a lot of these other sports, they just have so much more games that go into it. They have so much more time, and it's just, it's just different. Uh, so, but with J.K. Dobbins, since it is a, um, it's a short season, but at the same time, well, I guess it's a short season compared to all the other stuff. But in football terms, uh, it's a long season, um, and J.K. Dobbins is playing a long game. Um, being like, you know what? I'm not myself right now. I can't be the best contributor that I could possibly be to this football team. And if I'm out there and I'm not myself, then I'm taken away from the team. If I'm out there and I, I can't do everything that I'm used to doing, then... I'm, I'm a liability, and I don't want to be a liability. So I, let me remove myself. Let me get right. Let me get all the way right so that moving forward, I can be a better contributor on this Baltimore Ravens team. And I respect them for it. I got no problem with that at all because that is, and it's tricky. It's so tricky because we know NFL stands for not for long. Stands for not for long. I mean, you ask some other people in the NFL stands for some other stuff. But anyway, it stands for not for long. But with, with, with J.K. Dobbins um, and a lot of players, they will go out there and they'll be injured. They'll be banged up. And, and like hardly any of these guys right now are healthy. These guys are bruised. They battered. It's a tough season. It's a very physical sport, as we know. Um, but these, so these guys, and especially at running back. Like, you are not guaranteed a second contract by whether you a first-round pick, second-round pick, whatever. Nothing is guaranteed, especially at the running back position. Teams will replace you quick, fast, and in a hurry. So, no matter what your position, that can put a lot of pressure on these players, man. Like, man, I don't want to get replaced. I'm trying to get that second contract. I'm trying to keep my position. I'm trying this and that. That can put a lot of pressure on the players to, to play through injuries. And with that pressure, you're like, man, I ain't playing my best right now, but at the same time, I ain't trying to lose my spot. So that can make, that can make for some tough decisions. But the fact that J.K. Dobbins, he decided, you know what, let me have this surgery uh, so I could be ready for the long game, so I could be ready come playoff time and whatnot, I could be a better contributor further down the road. I respect it because that's really him putting uh, the team uh, ahead of him. And in this business... You can't get mad when players put themselves ahead of the team. It is the ultimate team sport. So on the field, yeah, you got to do it. But business-wise, you can't be mad when players put themselves ahead of the team because they, like, their teammates obviously have a lot to do with players getting their money and whatnot. Uh, but ultimately, each and, each, each and every player, their money is their money. Their money ain't, oh, I'm sharing this money with this guy. I'm sharing. No, their money is their money. In the NFL, careers do not last very long. So players try to do everything that they possibly can to get their bread, which I have no problems with. But shout out to J.K. Dobbins, man. Um, ultimate team player. Uh, good stuff. Uh, and we'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Ravens, again, they have a very favorable schedule down the stretch. Um, so they have some opportunities. Uh, you obviously, you cannot look overlook any teams. So I know some people, they oh, well. You can sit this guy out, sit that guy out, sit that guy out. You can't overlook these teams because these teams, they, they got a lot to play for too. Ravens ain't the only team that got something to play for. Um, so with, but with J.K. Dobbins, um, it's nice with him, with Mark Andrews, with Gus Edwards, with Marcus Williams. It, it's nice that the Ravens are starting to sort of, they start to sort of roll a little bit. They won three games in a row, hopefully. Next Sunday, it could be four and so on and so forth. They could keep it going. Um, but it's nice that they starting to sort of get their groove back a little bit. Um, all while they still got more guys 
that'll be coming back. More guys that'll be coming through for him to help out. So we, the guys that we talked about, of course, Bowser, he'll be playing more moving forward. Ajabo, he'll eventually end up playing moving forward. Uh, Deshaun Jack. <laughs> Uh, Jason Pierre Paul moving forward. They, they'll be back because they again in that Saints game they got a little banged up. Deshaun Jackson was out there running his hardest. Ooh, my hammies. I, I, they can't tell you. These are 35 year old hammies, baby. So I felt for him. I really did. But at the same time, I wasn't really surprised, man. Uh, but anyway, kudos to J.K. Dobbins. Um, for putting the team first. I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean. I hope y'all enjoying y'all football Sunday. And it's been really nice because we ain't, we ain't had the stress. It's been so nice today to actually watch football and be like, oh, hmm, nice play there. Oh, wow, this, this, this Bills Vikings game is crazy, but it's a different kind of crazy because it doesn't involve our hearts type of crazy. It was fun watching it. And hey, I, I know all, all, I know all Ravens fans, they love the outcome of that game. Don't be ashamed. Uh, but. It was nice. It was nice to see. Um, but the Bills, what they six and three. Um, the Dolphins are seven and three. Uh, so yeah, the the Chiefs are what? The, I think the Chiefs are they seven and two? I want to say. I forgot what their record is. But hey, Ravens right there in the thick of things when it comes to the AFC race. Um, and it's only one number one overall spot. Uh, and we'll see who ends up getting it in the end. But it, it could go so many different ways. And it's still, while it's not early in the season, it's still early to be like, oh, number one seed for this. Uh, nah, it, so much could change. And it's so, like, super, super close. But anyway, I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. And like J.K. Dobbins will be for a little while, but not for the rest of the season. We out.